afternoon we're going to check out a couple of new health clubs or gyms. Uh, I've been trying to find a place with an accessible pool to use for a while. And in 2016 that's somehow surprisingly difficult. So uh, there's a new place right over here. Um, it's the Bethany Athletic Club. Apparently they're under new ownership or just uh, opened up or something like that. I'm not sure exactly the details, but we're gonna go in there and check and see if it'll work. So we just went up, uh, hang on, more, more uh, ambulances are coming. So we've got a fire truck and an ambulance now going to this place. That's not a good sign. They pulled right into the athletic club. Hmm. So as it turns out, um, this athletic club right over here does not follow ADA code at all. I went inside and there's a sign on the wall that says uh, not all places are accessible. So I asked to uh, get a tour and um, go out to look at the pool and they have no lift or anything like that. They did however inform me that they recently purchased the place and they're not 100% sure if it's up to code yet. Which to me seems kind of weird. Like when the city gives you an occupation permit, you've got to have things like fire sprinklers and emergency exits. and heating and ventilation and air conditioning, but apparently excluding part of the population by not having, you know, lifts or working elevators or entire portions of a building that you can't get to is a pretty low priority. All right, there's one more place I was gonna check out. It's a little bit further away. It's uh, way out in Hills Burrito, uh, pretty close to the airport, but it's uh, Hawthorne Farm Athletic Club and they're out there by Intel. So I'm hoping it's a planned community, which means it's a newer building, which means in theory, they can't get away with um, not following code, but we'll see, we'll go check it out. It'll be good, I'm sure. We have here behind me, Hawthorne Farm Athletic Club. Now, it looks like it's an old office building that was converted. I don't know how well this bodes for being purpose built as a gym, but uh, we'll see how it works. It's been a couple hours since I uh, went into this place. Hawthorne Farm Athletic Club. Actually turns out, uh, seems like a decent facility. And I actually joined. And I went and used the pool and the hot tub. Uh, they've got two portable uh, lifts for the assorted pools, which they have three of. Three pools, two lifts, hot tub. Um, and the nice thing is they have three uh, like family locker rooms, which are like single person ones, have their own showers and everything like that. Uh, the locker room itself is pretty dang crowded, like, I mean, physically space wise. Um, I went in there and I had to like back my chair all the way out. But yeah, other than that, I mean, the place actually seems pretty decent. The price is pretty good. They waive the initiation fee. Uh, it's like 78 bucks a month. So uh, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Time will tell. Everything always starts off great in the beginning. But uh, this one I feel like should be a good fit. Next, I'm off to Home Depot for the second project of the day. What I'm doing now is I've uh, been calling the city a number of times about the condition of some of the sidewalks and giant holes and some of the utility vaults that have open lids and broken ones. The sidewalk is treacherous and they basically either tell me, well, that's not in our county or maybe it is, but we don't know exactly who it belongs to. So yeah, and then I'll call back a few more times and finally they're like, oh yeah, well, that's not scheduled to be done for quite some time. And it's like, well, hey, you're gonna get someone on a bicycle, a bicycle or a mobility device or something like that. You're gonna get caught in one of these holes or gonna fall on the street and get hit by a bus or something else. Then you got a lawsuit on your hands. So what I've decided to do was, even though I know that these messed up spots on the sidewalk are there, sometimes I forget about them or it's nighttime. So I went down to Home Depot and I got one of these um, spray wand marking tools and some bright orange paint 
And I'm gonna go mark these places on the sidewalk so that myself and other people notice them. The initial phase of my project is complete. I went ahead and just painted all of the dangerous spots on the sidewalks a fluorescent orange color. That way, people like me and other people wandering around will see them, even at night. All kinds of people paint stuff on the sidewalk. Well, Radio Shack was a bust. I was trying to find microphones, but I forgot. Radio Shack doesn't really sell anything anymore. So I have to go back to my least favorite place, Best Buy. And that there is a Hot Shoe DSLR microphone. There's a couple of settings on there for the different patterns. Oh, battery in. Stick the windscreen on there. See, before it's got this little tiny microphone on the back, which is terrible. So we're going to plug in this DSLR one and hopefully it does something useful. I'm not 100% sure where to mount this thing. Everything okay? Yep. Yeah. Just trying to get the camera set up before I run out of light. I'm, well, I'm just asking what you're doing because this is private property. Oh, I was just uh, cutting through here and I stopped for a second because I want to get this microphone set up and then uh, I'll be on my way. I'd, I'd prefer if you did, just because this is all private property here. I'll sit in the road, which is inherently a lot less safe, and now you can go about your day. Sir, I'm just trying to do my job. Use everything from Herman and his private property. So this security guard over here, um, which all under the guise of safety told me I can't be on the property, so I have to sit in the road, um, which I guess is somehow safer, but yeah, whatever, I guess. All right, we got the camera hooked up, we got the microphone installed. I have no idea if you can hear me, there's a lot of wind, and I'm just kind of holding it with my hand. So, we'll see how the night mode works. Please stay in your heart. 